And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Swain. It's going to be our next deck today. Got another really fun looking deck. This is going to be like a control deck with Twisted Fate and Swain. We're going to use some of the new built water tools. We got Monster Harpoon being a pretty awesome removal spell. And with Plunder, it only costs 3 mana, deals 5 damage. 5 is a lot of non-combat damage for the Swain level up. So very excited about Monster Harpoon in this kind of deck. I was going to be using one Bone Skewer, which works great with Twisted Fate. Um, but besides that, we have Triple Death Lotus, because Death Lotus is really good against both Aurelia Zir and Thresh Nasus, and any of like the Noxus Aggro decks, um, all those kind of things. So we got three Death Lotus. With it dealing one to all battling enemies, You know that can add up to be a lot of damage also for leveling up Swain. So we got that going on. We got some good card advantage too. We got Fortune Croaker drawing cards, um, Sprayfin drawing cards, and of course Whisper Words drawing cards as well. Um, so a lot of a lot of card draw, a lot of good removal, and a lot of ways to deal damage to level up Swain. So it looks pretty interesting. I like it a lot. So this is another viewer submitted donation deck, just like the Kindred's uh, Fortune and all four decks today. We're back in ranked. We're uh, having some fun now. It's after the tournament. We're going to have a new format in about 10 days, but before that, we're going to uh, play some pretty sweet looking new decks. So here we go, Twisted Swain, which I guess Twisted Swain isn't really a new deck, but we haven't played it in a long time. I don't know when they'll start with the card reveals. I honestly, I would have expected the card reveals to start yesterday during the uh, seasonal tournament. That's what I would have expected the card reveals to start. So I don't know when they will. Um... You know, kind of surprised not today. You know, like any any day now, <laughs> I would have thought that Carter because we'll know the entire expansion in nine days. That's whenever the new patch notes will be and everything is in nine days, and they'll be implemented here, and we'll be playing them in ten days. Next Wednesday, like the Wednesday after. Um. So you may be thinking, like, why are we playing Krusty Codger? Well, Krusty, because we we want a one drop to begin with, and Krusty Codger is a good one because it does two damage to itself. So like that self damage, that is non combat damage that so levels up Swain. Our Swain's already at four out of twelve, just from playing Krusty Codger and Fortune Croaker. So I did, I attacked first because I was worried about them playing the two three C monster. And so that's why I didn't want to play the Fortune Croaker first, and then they play the Sea Monster, and then I'm kind of stuck. Sorry. Okay, so let's go. Let's draw some more cards. I was hoping they would, like, attack with both. <laughs> I could Death Lotus. That would have been cool. Alright, so I think I'm just going to pass. They would waste a couple more mana than I would. And they may do that, and if they do that, then we get to do the old stun flock combo. Now, if I attack with these two, it lets them trade with my three two and take two. That's pro that's not worth it. Not whenever I can red card and clear this up. It's not worth it. Which, honestly, I guess that, that would have been the better play instead of the sentries. If I would have just red carded, because then the Maokai would have been damaged, and then Ravenous Flock. Yeah, that would have been the better play. Yeah, that would have. Because then I could have attacked for six. Okay. Deal me in. Something for all of you. Yeah, I don't think they would have the mana for the sap magic, but I guess it's possible that they did. Actually, yeah, I guess it's possible they did. Oh, that's the ephemeral one. Great. 
grab that from Stalking Shadows. I dealt with you Shadow Isles types before. They are nothing like me. There we go. Boom. Killing the other Maokai with a Monster Harpoon. Monster Harpoon's a pretty fi fitting card to play against a deep deck, right? Against sea monsters. A Monster Harpoon. I see Monster Harpoon. Oh, it is Sandra Trundle. Everybody's least favorite deck. I'm just going to send those all back to start with. So the prediction, there's a huge bet on loss. So you should bet on win to get, get in on it. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Just have to get this started. Already looks very bad. Yeah, man, this looks really bad. Because if I play Krusty Codger and they play Avalanche, I'm basically dead. I'm still basically dead, though. So we'll reset Sprayfin. Allow Sprayfin to draw another uh, spell. Looks like they have Ice Shard. Withering Whale, same card. Alright, so Swain's leveled up. Of course, we have to get rid of the Lissandra, because with the Tough Nexus, then the Leviathan does nothing. <laughs> Lissandra is so brutal for a 3 mana card. It's so brutal, all the stuff it does.
No, Swain Leviathan combo can't do any... Like, Swain Leviathan combo does nothing with Lissandra in play. Like, it, they don't take any damage with the tough Nexus, so it does... It just does literally nothing. I was more worried about Ruination than Vengeance. That's why I didn't play Swain before attacking, because I was too worried about uh, Ruination. Yeah, I mean, they could have another Lissandra. That means we probably lose. I mean, there's... I mean, I don't... Yes, they can have a lot of cards that, that beat me. I don't... I'm trying my best. are not dead dead at least not yet Artillery barrage. oh we don't get the round start ability with that I couldn't beat. We only have the two Scorchers in here, and I already used both of them. So I don't have anything else to stop this open attack Leviath Leviathan now that they have Lissandra. Um... Okay. Oh, that costs. Man, I one mana short. One mana short. I need, to, I need to be able to Harpoon and play Swain, right? I need to be able to do both of those. Just these, those Ice Pillars giving that Spectral Matron. These old eyes still see far and clear. Maybe they don't open attack. They don't open attack. Fire! Play something. Coward. Alright, playing against Elise. This one should be hopefully a lot better matchup for us. Death Lotus, House Spider. I like seeing both of those. <laughs> JJ says, I'd rather play against Aurelia Zero 100,000 times than Trundle Lissandra once. Oh man, I'm. I'm kind of. I'm with. I'm with you there. I. It's not an enjoyable experience playing against that Trundle. Trundle Lissandra deck. Like, there's just not really any redeeming qualities. It's like, if they, you know, combo off and play a ton of Watchers, you lose. If they have a bad hand, you win. It's just... There's not really any enjoyment level. For myself. Other people. Everybody's different. I think. 
fight spiders with spiders. Just gonna pass. Kind of expecting um, some frenzied skitter shenanigans this round. Hmm. It's like I was expecting that or something. Putting them in this order, the Death Lotus resolves first. We do get that one extra damage with the Death Lotus. So as far as leveling up Swain, now Swain's at 9 out of 12 instead of 8 out of 12. Probably won't really matter because we have like a lot of ways to damage, but you never know. Yeah, never know. Come closer. I don't. If only reputation was like any. any source that dealt 5 damage instead of just units that deal 5 damage. I don't know, it's such a weird keyword. So JJ asks, should I donate a Callista Profiteer deck or a Targon Aggro? I think Callista Profiteer. Keywords are a ton of fun. That seems pretty awesome with the uh, Profiteer being a summon, so you just keep on getting more keywords. That sounds really sweet. This is a good matchup for us, though, with Death Lotus and Twisted Fate. Together, I'm going to pass. War Mason, reporting for duty. I guess I'm just letting that happen. Yeah. For the glory of Noxus. Not a lot to do about it. Remember the objectives. Deal me in. So I'm down to eleven. We don't really have any Nexus healing, so like this... This can be bad for us. So they just have... Um, a bunch of Decimates and Noxion Fervors, that'll be bad for us. Noxion Fervors I can kind of handle if I can keep these things under 3 health. Unspeakable Horror is a great card. Swain already leveled. To the face now at five out of nine. Man, yeah, it's one unspeakable horror gets eclipse dragon, which then gets screeching dragon. All right, JJ, thanks, thanks. So it's gonna be a meme tier donation deck with Callista, Callista Profiteer. Okay, do I have anything that can block Fearsome? Not so much. Nope. Nope, not so much. Okay, so you 
walk there. Please walk there. And then we're good. Still 11 11. And now Scorched Earth can handle Eclipse Dragon in case of um, Noxion Fervors. Or Monster Harpoon. Doesn't quite kill it. Those are some good hits. The Traveler. Wow. So Unspeakable Horror makes Eclipse Dragon, which makes the Traveler and Screeching Dragon. Those are some good hits. And they're not done. They're not done. I guess... I mean, I really want to get this Leviathan in play. And I wouldn't have these available, though. I'm gonna try it. Destination in sight. Yeah, so they played an Unspeakable Horror. And that made a Nightfall card. And it made this Nightfall card Eclipse Dragon. And then this Nightfall made the Screeching Dragon and the Traveler. And then the Traveler makes the Golden Sister. Okay. Yeah, so I was going to have that, because I was going to have, like, I had that. So I was going to play Swain, but I had, I guess, no, maybe I didn't play Swain. But, you know, I had the Monster Harpoon to kill the Lifesteal, the Ravenous Block to kill the 4-1, the Scorched Earth to kill the Big Dragon. And then Leviathan was going to finish the job. So we have two Scorched Earth. Those are going to be very important to find, blowing up the Landmarks. I want Scorched Earth. Sprayfin, go find Scorched Earth. There are, let's see, three, six, nine, twelve. There are twelve targets, twelve cards that Sprayfin can draw. So, cool. There's one, so there's eleven left. So two out of eleven will be Scorched Earth. Man, they had double Frozen Thrall right at the beginning. Yuck. Double Frozen Thrall. <laughs> yeah, Invoking does seem un unfair for Expedition. Yeah, just double Frozen Thrall Lissandra. That's, that's pretty nice. Right. All right, so I think their hand has been perfect. Two Frozen Thrall, Lissandra, Avalanche. Do they just have like a five drop now? Promising future. Okay, let's see. I guess I could just play Swain first. Master, your demons. We are at war. I need to find Scorched Earth. If I stumble, I Dang. Yeah, well, this is just game over now. I mulliganed every single card in my hand, and I drew a bunch of cards. I tried to find Scorch Earth, but yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter anymore. Tis over. There are no Scorch Earths anywhere. Yeah, so if I kill the if I kill Italia right now, they do get an additional thrall, but also man, come on. Yeah, so now I definitely can't, because 
I had to do it. I still had to do it to like level up the Swain so that then maybe like the Leviathan stuns all those thralls. But yeah, now I I certainly can't do it. That's one less thrall. Do eight damage. That's five, six, seven, eight. Stay alive at four. Just the exact amount of mana I need. They still have a whole bunch more thralls coming. I guess they're telling me they have this one, probably have like a Lissandra or something. Finishes the jump. That was a perfect hand. Having multiple avalanches and ice shards and and super fast eight eights. I don't necessarily think. I guess really Azir does have like the homecoming to reset. Homecoming's a big deal. Noxus Shadow Isles, no. Champion. Gotta imagine this is pretty fast aggro. Could be Legion Marauders, though. It's like it's there's two choices, right? Like it's either fast aggro or Legion Marauders. And yeah, Mulligan like aggro. No one's the wiser. <laughs> Where do you see that it's 80-20, JJ? I'm not saying that you're wrong, I just don't believe that it's actually 80-20. But... I'm not, you know, not saying it's 100% not. That's just hard for me to believe. What do you mean this is this is already GG? What have we have we already lost? I mean we still have a chance. We definitely haven't won. This is this game's still going on. This is not This is not decided either way. Okay. Oh, uh, let's do that and block here. So hoping they didn't find like Doom Beast or Demolitionist or anything like that. I'll just save the spell mana, I suppose. Ah, uh, they found Demolitionist. That's not good. They so have another Demolitionist in hand. That's not good. Wow. Where did they find Doom Beast? Not looking good. And they're not giving us this opportunity like uh, the opportunity to play these sentries either. Scorched Earth is just mocking us. It does nothing in this matchup, but like last matchup, it's all we needed was that Scorched Earth. It's just sitting there mocking us. If they don't break, they Alright, there's the Ephemeral One, but at least we get to stun. So let's stun this Ephemeral One. That basically, you know, that just kills it for good. I have my orders. 
I'll stun that thing. That was important that they didn't just open attack. And they open attack, they deal a lot of damage to me. Hmm. I'm one off. One off from this thing being leveled up and just wiping their board. If we had one more, <laughs> one one more damage in on that swing, that would have been amazing. But I did not get enough. All right, so we're at five. We're going to. All right, that'll do. Three and two. Got a little close, but it was that round that they didn't just open attack and that we were able to play the double stuns. Whew, that was a close one, but I liked our list. I liked playing this Twisted Fate Swain. I you know, kind of won a, scorch, a third Scorched Earth on one hand, but then on the other hand, we play against a matchup like that where we just don't need Scorched Earth at all. But to be fair, I think that that last matchup, I think that's kind of our, our really good matchups. Um, like those real fast aggro decks, especially if we're playing three Twisted Fate with Red Card and three Death Lotus. Um, you know, we got the House Spiders for blockers also. That's probably a good matchup for us. So maybe we should be playing the third Scorched Earth. And to get that in there, I'll probably take out the Fervor. We do have a lot of, I think we have enough ways to do a lot of damage. And we even have like Krusty Codger in here. So I think we have enough ways to level up. Swain. I, I don't know. I would, I would think about that because now we have the Monster Harpoon also. The Monster Harpoon was awesome. That card was really good. So I would think about that for the third Scorched Earth. Um, you know, to just kind of help out against like the... Because that Landmark deck is pretty uh, is pretty big and then that would help out against like Aurelian Souls and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, just having, having Scorched Earth for like Aurelia Azir, being able to blow up their Landmark is very important as well so i would i would think about that i would think about that over the fervor but this deck looked good this deck felt this deck definitely felt good i liked um i like liked a lot of what it had going on and i think it has uh, quite a bit of potential um, i think this is in a good spot in this metagame triple death lotus triple twisted fate leviathan swain to finish it out i like it your um your matchup that's going to be tough, of course, is going to be that uh, Trundle Lissandra matchup. It's going to be tough, but we do have a lot of stun cards. We saw that, like how we were we were able to stop the Watcher from killing us the one round with a bunch of stun cards, but we didn't have a Scorch Earth to kill the Watcher. We'd already used our two Scorch Earths earlier, so yeah, I think I think that that would have helped out a lot. So like both both matchups we lost. If we had another Scorch Earth, they could have maybe been wins because then we would have like if we were able to have one more Scorch Earth and Scorch Earth that Watcher. Then they wouldn't have had that, and I don't think they really kill us from there. So yeah, that actually, yeah, so let's do it. Let's play three Scorched Earth in here. Both losses, one Scorched Earth would have made a big difference. Um, I like it. So there we go, that's Twisted at Swain. Definitely felt very competitive. Those y'all want, and I, I liked some of these choices. Like I really liked the, for, the, the Fortune Croakers, did a ton of work. Krusty Codger was a really good one drop. I really like those card choices in there. So I like a lot of the card choices that are in here quite a bit. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, give this one a try. You know, if you are somebody who likes Twisted Fate decks, I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised by this one. And let me know how it goes. Also, let me know how you like three Scorched Earth in there. I think that could be the way to go in this metagame. All right, but that's going to be it here for Twisted Swain. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.